All right. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this one. Then we're gonna bring that uh, the Berber up there. Uh, Cause we're gonna do we're gonna work with both. Cause this one has a little bit bigger pattern, a little bit easier to work with. How many guys are still use? How many guys are using the hot glue gun to seal their seams? Not. Sometimes. Why not all the time? Well, <laughs> um, I use the regular glue. You use latex. Yeah, but yeah. I, when I, sometimes when I don't have the other, I, I. If you use if you use a hot glue gun, all right, it's quicker, it's faster, and it, it, it uh, makes a stronger a stronger bond this way, not underneath, but this way. Because when you're running, doesn't matter what you're running, a hot iron or a cool glide, it's going to remelt the glue on the edges. And it's going to lock it from the top down. All right? What causes peak? What causes peaking is the tension of your stretch. How many times have you had your seam looking good, and when you stretched it, it picked up and you've seen it? That's why I use sometimes. All right? Well, if you use this, if you use that, because it locks from the top down, what causes when you stretch, the tape wants to become level with the other backing. So it stretch, it becomes taut, and it picks up and opens up. Because what it is, it's only hooked on the bottom like a hinge. So it opens up. So when you, when you lock it from all the way, the secondary, primary, primary, secondary backing all the way down to the tape, it's locked. When you stretch, it doesn't have that as much to open up, right? With your latex or your acrylic, what you use, when it's, when it's uh, dry, it's not going to hold together. With this, for one, you run it on, and where the guys have the most issue with it is they put too much on. And so what happens is it causes a gap, all right? Because you don't, you put it on just like you do latex. What do you do when you do latex? You run your bead down, and what do you do then? You take your thumb or one of your fingers and rub it into the picks on the side, correct? That's all you want to do with this. You use the edge when you're running it to push it in so it pushes in and locks it in. So. I'm going to sit there. All you do, all it takes is this. Get down here on the side. I've got this stretched in, and I pick it up. You'll see on the other side. And I just constantly run a little bead as I go. I'm pushing it in at the same time as I am. I come here and take a look. Right? There's very, you don't see it, but if you feel it, yeah. feel it, it's yeah. there. Right? You don't want a gob. Because if you get a gob, then when you go to put it together, it's keeping it out and you're getting yourself a little gap. You want not, but no, that's cool. That's ready to go. Boom. How long do you have to, how long do you have to wait for your latex? Well, as long as it takes, you got it. <laughs> I like that guy. As long as it takes, you got it. You know, humidity and everything has a lot to do with it. So I just go down this side. I just bead this down this side. That's it. You don't have a lot, guys. Just a teeny bit. That's all you need. Just enough to fill the picks on the side, and you're pushing them in. So you don't, when you run it down, it, you don't feel any lumps or any, any, any gobs there. You run it down nice and smooth. I'm done. Sealed, ready to go. It's sealed. So much quicker and faster. Now, when I seam this seam, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go together good. It's going to lock and everything else. So that's all it takes with a hot glue gun. You know. Now, we're on the job site. We're in the real world. 